Yo, what up? This is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is The Art of Letting Go. Letting go, letting go. Mike feel good in my hand right now. It does feel it really feels, good. It feels amazing. What's good, man? Not too much. Um, everything is good, actually. That's what's we'll up. take that back. Everything is good. Um, this is The Art of Letting Go. It is. Where we also let grow. Hey. And today... I kind of wanted to continue our conversation from last week because we talked about needing a break. Right. And I ended up taking that break this weekend. Okay. And it was very necessary. Um, It led to me feeling a sense of being recharged. Okay. Um, Yeah, I was at my limit. Right. I was at my limit. My battery was about to run out my morale battery. So I had to take a break. I ended up going to Yucca Valley and being out in nature and uh, connecting with myself, really. That's dope. Yeah, and I say that because uh, I got lost. (laughs) got lost. (laughs) Okay. And the way I was able to find my way back was by following my footsteps, retracing my footsteps. Wow, wow. And looking at that with life, you know, for a minute after my grandmother passed, I was feeling a little lost. Mm-hmm. Um, things just weren't really looking right. They were looking a little dark. Yeah. And I had to retrace my footsteps to get back on my track. And that experience helped me with that. Okay. So I feel back on track. That's what's up. Can you um, tell me a little bit about Yucca Valley? Because I've never been. I've heard of it before, but I haven't been out there. Yucca Valley is past Palm Springs. Okay. And there's absolutely nothing out there <laughs> but desert. Okay. Rock. Animals. Okay. And that's it. And I went to Joshua Tree. Yeah, I really didn't do nothing while I was there. I gave myself the opportunity to just be. Right. You know, rather than trying to be so planned out even when i went to joshua tree i didn't know what to expect yeah i was expecting it to be a park it was a desert can't you do like some uh some is it like mountains out there or is it it is mountains and okay. you and you can like hike and they got right. trails right i ended up doing this trail called the maze trail mm. and it really was a maze yeah but it was beautiful and it was like nothing I ever seen before. It was almost like being in outer space. Some of the rocks yeah. were so pretty. Some of the plants were colors that I had never seen before. Mm-hmm. And to experience that, it just was dope. That's dope. And a lot of times when I'm out in nature, I do a lot of internal reflection. Mm-hmm. So I thought a lot about myself. I thought about things that I was going through. And honestly, I... I came back and really didn't remember what what I was going through. Wow. That's what's <laughs> like, up. Just being honest, yeah, I really didn't remember what what I was so stressed out about. Right. So it it really restored my soul and my spirit and gave me the strength to want to keep going. That's dope. That's really dope. I um I asked you that about the place just so I can get you know my mind wrapped around kind of the where you were cuz you said you took a break. So like it, it was the desert yeah there was nothing we didn't have a tv um that was it was, was like no, a campground or was it no I, I was i was at an airbnb okay got you but didn't have any of that stuff and didn't need it right didn't all i had was music good company and yeah that that's was what's it. up that's what's up i uh i had a interesting i didn't go anywhere in particular um i haven't taken any breaks either my weekend was cool though like i went to i went to the reggae fest yesterday okay and that was pretty dope um i didn't know none of the artists i just went um and that was a cool little getaway and other than that i just been trying to get out more yeah um i feel what you're saying on taking a break i think i needed uh i just needed a break from like going to work every day (laughs) <laughs> you feel me Man, like <laughs> to be honest a job affects every part of your life right because you spend so much time at right it. right right when you think about how much time you spend at a job 
and then you come home and you have no energy to do anything so this is the thing for me right i go to work and uh it's cool i work for people that i know that i'm really cool with which yeah. is a gift and a curse because your emotions get a little involved in the situation sometimes you know what i'm saying right but i feel at work i spend the whole day doing nothing like when i tell you i like and i hate to say this but it's the truth like when i tell you i was take just taking naps at work wow like it was stupid and i hate it i hate not feeling purposeful and useful you know what i'm saying and so i need i don't want to say i need to take a break from work i just need to take a break from what i'm doing right now forever that's real like forever like you know what i'm saying and uh i definitely need it i need it and and, yeah. and i understand now that you know because i went to work with uh with the people that i work with because they're like family to me yeah um but i think that for the for the continuation of them to feel like family i need to leave that makes sense i need to leave it it's does not make it's sense. not a, it's not conducive for me to stay there because i feel I, and i've been you know it's crazy because they'll joke with me so and it's, it's all jokes but they'll joke with me and be like oh you walk around here like you know you you, you like you the shit basically or you so light-skinned like you you know like you can't do nothing wrong and i'm like no nah, yeah. i'm just I'm just really confident in who I am, you know what I'm saying? And I know what I can provide and I know what I can do. So sometimes I'm, that makes people uncomfortable. Hey man, I'm no, I'm learning that it does. And I don't know what to I mean, I'm not going to do anything about it cuz I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> but like I'm not going to change who I am because it makes you feel uncomfortable or you just think I'm on my high horse. But my thing is like I'm not doing nothing here. I'm not I'm wasting time. Is how I feel. Like, yeah, I'm getting paid. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to get paid to do nothing. That's just not who I am. Right. And um, so I feel you on taking a break. I think my break is just going to be a little different than just getting away. Because I definitely need a getaway. But I think that I need to figure out the next part of my life. Because I'm about to have, you know, I'm, I'm trying to have a baby right now. Um, and to me, trying to have a baby is already having a baby. Right. So I'm like, my daughter or my son is already here. So I need to feel productive. I need to make sure that like we're financially stable, protected before the baby even gets here. You know what I'm saying? Like we cool, but I need to do better. So when or how do you how do you take that time to I guess refocus the plan, you know? Well, that's what I did. I did some of that today. And I think I just needed like I needed the weekend to kind of just be out and about. And even though I wasn't really doing a whole lot of anything, I just needed to be out and away yeah. from, like, a stressful environment, away from um, not doing nothing. Like, so when I say I don't do nothing, I'd be in the office not doing nothing. So I needed to do something. Right. And that reactivated my mind. Um, and now that that happened, I've been, you know, today I did a lot of planning and um, I've been in contact with different people as far as moving forward with my business. And I had kind of taken a step back because I went back to my old job from yeah. doing that and now that I, mean, I feel like god is just like nah bro like i told you what to do and you didn't listen and you went and did something else and that's why you feel the way you feel that always make it a little harder you know what i'm saying and so now i'm like all right let me <laughs> get back to what i need to be doing and step out and so it's 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 cool um that we're kind of in a contrast right now like I, I feel like i can feed off of the energy that you have Coming for coming off of having a break and getting away, and now you're ready to work. I'm guessing. Absolutely. Uh, it was hard to work. Yeah. Because I was just feeling just physically and mentally exhausted. Right. And you know I've I've been there before and I've I've done it multiple times in my life where I've just gone 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 and then you pass the threshold and then you just crash. Right. So. I felt my crashing point coming, so before I got there, I took action. Yeah. And that's what got me here. And I feel refreshed and I feel ready to just take over the world. Right. Yeah, man. I uh, I feel the same way. Like, uh, it's interesting that we had two different experiences kind of bring us to the same point. But I feel the same way. I feel like I'm ready to take over the world. I feel like... I'm capable of taking over the world. Absolutely. Uh, and that's a big step. Like, I'm not just ready, but I'm able. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to keep running with that because that's where I have to stand. Like, I have to be that confident in everything that I do 
in life. Like, I have to be that confident. I refuse to allow somebody else's look on me or if, if they're intimidated by me. And maybe they're not intimidated by me. Maybe they just don't. You Because when I was at this job before, I was super depressed. So they were used to seeing me a certain kind of way. Yeah. And now that I'm walking in my truth and in my light, I feel like they're like, well, who are you? I'm like, I'm trying to show y'all who I am, but y'all not. Like, let me be a star. Because that's what Absolutely. I am. You feel me? Like, I'm a star. Like, I'm going to shine regardless of what the situation is. So, like, either let me be a star or I'm just going to be it. And, <laughs> and y'all going to have to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. That's where I'm at. And uh, I'm going to run with it, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to run with it straight up. You have to. I mean, even going back to what you were saying about being able to do anything like one thing that I was able to experience for myself was my survival skills. Yeah. Because the first thing the lady told me when I went to Joshua Tree was be careful because they find dead bodies out there all the time. That's crazy. Meaning people get lost and don't make it out. That's crazy. I got lost. Ugh. That was the first thing I thought about. Right. <laughs> and I didn't Straight think up. about nothing else. Right. But getting out of that motherfucker. Right, right. And I used skills that I didn't even know I had. Like I said, I, I was looking around looking at the ground looking at everything and i saw my own footprints yeah and i said that's how i get back right <laughs> let your footsteps be your guy right exactly like, like you already know what to do just just do what you're supposed to do absolutely and that's and that's really cool that's a dope even when you said it i was like man that's a dope metaphor um and it's i mean it's a metaphor but it's not because it really happened but yeah uh, it's a dope metaphor for what i'm trying to do next like you Absolutely. have the tools, you have the like you've already walked in certain ways. You know what I'm saying? You probably done wrote the plan a million. I know I done wrote the plan Bruh. a million times. Bruh. And it don't really change. It's just a matter of acting on it. It's right. like if, if I could make it out of that motherfucker, I could do anything that right. I wanna do. Straight up. I felt like I won a game. It felt like being on a show and winning a game. Man. Getting out of there. Accomplishment means a lot, man. Absolutely. It means a lot. And that's why I think me being at somewhere that doesn't make me happy. And knowing what I'm capable of doing and not being able to do that is driving me crazy. It's driving it me can. Ins- It's driving me insane. So uh, I'm glad that you're at a place where you're ready to work because I'm ready to do whatever I got to do. And I have, like, the motivation of knowing that, I, that, I mean, I'm not. we're not pregnant right now, you feel me? But yeah. I have the motivation of knowing that, like, I'm going to have a child and I want my child to have everything in life, like, everything you know what i'm saying everything and that's super motivational for me um so i'm gonna ride that wave you know what i'm saying and and um family is a big deal to me uh and you know it was crazy man i was listening to something earlier and it was talking about how um you know people get married don't really understand what marriage is they just jump into it they think they're in love they think love is gonna make what the relationship is gonna be the thing that makes the relationship survive and it's like but it does, it's not just about love, you know what I'm saying? And um, it made me think about certain things because one of the things that he said was, um, it's uh, what's the pastor's name? I can't remember his name. But he was just talking about how, dang, I just lost my train of thought. That's all good. Yeah, I, left. I can help you out. It just left. I'm not too sure what makes relationships last. Yeah. But in addition to love, I think communication absolutely. and friendship. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Friendship. It's so important, and I was talking to Fab today. Shout out, Fab. Shout out, Fab. But I have been in relationships with people in the past yeah. where I try to build friendship after being in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard. It is very hard. Yeah, it's hard. And usually it doesn't work. Nah, it doesn't. So, well, it today, can, but it's it's rare. It, it can, but experience. it takes a lot of effort. Yeah. It, and... It take a lot of effort that sometimes the other person doesn't want to put in. Right, <laughs> right. You know Straight what up. I mean? So Straight it's up. hard when you put in all the work. But that's a different story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a whole other episode. Yes, that is. Uh, but starting friendship with somebody mm-hmm. feels different, and it's really dope to experience it that way because I know how much I care about my friends. Mm-hmm. So I know if my partner is my friend, how much I would care about my partner. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. 
Definitely. I feel like friendship is very important. I feel like friendship is really important, too. That didn't help me remember what I was going to say. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I do appreciate the comment because I agree with that 100%. Uh, I really can't remember what I was going to say, man. I'm going to have to bring it back next week. But um, it was really it was really powerful to me, though, when he said that's crazy. I can't remember. It was so powerful. But um, yeah, man, I, I just I just know that I want to do more and I have to do more. Like I refuse to settle uh, for anything in life. Like, yeah, I re- absolutely refuse to settle. Like settling is I don't think something I'm capable of anymore. Hey, man, it's it's all a game. Right. And we playing it. And it's like. Settling is, is like taking an L. It's absolutely you know what I mean. Like absolutely, you know you got the tools. Just just go win. It's not even like it's worse than taking an L. Like I feel like settling is like making it's the like L. forfeit. Yeah, like it's making. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this L, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to craft it perfectly so that I can lose. Like yeah, man, it's it's the worst, bro. And and so I just can't I can't do it. Like, I think, you know, a while back, and we've been talking about the art of letting go and the art of letting grow. Yeah. And I think before, you know, letting go was me realizing that I was settling. Yeah. And now that I'm growing, it's like, all right, well, you can't do it no more. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I settled for a long time in my life, and I'm just I'm just not capable of it anymore, bro. I just can't. Like, I was, it was crazy, too, because going back to the whole marriage thing, that's what I was going to say before. I don't remember. But I was washing the dishes. And I was saying to myself, like, I'm in competition with myself. Like, I want to be a better husband, a better man, a better father. I ain't even father yet. Uh, a better steward, a better friend. Better, 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 better. A better friend than I was yesterday. And every day, I just want to get better at whatever it is that I'm doing. Like, if I'm That's not better. That's all you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you do your best every day, even on days where you don't, hit your mark or whatever it is right you're doing your best that's all you can do. yeah like that's that's it yeah man and if you know that shit in your heart like you can't even be mad at yourself about not at it. all not at all not at all it's just uh and it's not even like i've been using the word compete and just like our you know i guess we had last week was talking about it's not competition and i had to rephrase what i said yeah um it's just like i have to hold myself account just as accountable as anybody else would absolutely and absolutely um, i'm just um i'm ready to just keep growing man so i appreciate the fact that you were able to get away and come back to because especially after going through something like that's a losing your grandmother is a traumatic event you feel me like it's it's trauma it can be very traumatizing and i, I appreciate the fact yeah. that you were able to go figure out what you needed to figure out and go through and allow you allowed yourself to go through whatever it was that you went through to get to where you are now like you allowed yourself to do it a lot of people don't do that or they're incapable of doing it they don't know that that's what you should do and I, I, I love the fact that you let yourself feel how you felt i love the fact that you felt like i don't need to be around people so i'm not gonna be around people i love the fact that you you got away you went somewhere else totally different that you've never been to before and experienced something that brought you back to where you needed to be like that's super dope a lot of people don't do that and so you know i'd be commending you a lot on on, on here because you just be doing shit but uh, I appreciate that. Nah, man, that's that's real shit. Like that's like, dope. Last week we talked about the cocoon. This right. week I really feel like the butterfly. That's dope. That's and dope. That's being real. Yeah. So uh, fly on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> fly on. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna bring back what I was gonna say um uh, next week. Um, uh, cause it, it was pretty dope. Um, I just can't remember it, but it really hit me. I'm gonna listen again. And I'll give y'all the names. It was Miles I can't Monroe. Miles Monroe said it. Um but yeah, I'll get back to you on it. Um but yeah, man. I got nothing else for you. I'm good too, man. Um where can we find Alpha Presents? Alpha Presents, you can find Alpha Presents on Instagram, on Twitter, um, on Facebook. Um it's A L F. Don't forget the F. P H A underscore presents. Um and uh, yeah, man, where can we find? You can also find me at the uh, the Art of Letting Go on SoundCloud and um, and uh, Apple Music. Yes, sir. And uh, which is recorded at Six and Magnolia Recording Studios, by the way. By the way, which is a studio that uh, me and my I built 
and Mike definitely has had his hand in the studio as well. So I appreciate that too. Um, where can we find you at, brother? You can find me on all social media at Just Mike Brown. Yep, yep. Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, Facebook, PrimoMiguel.com for music. Um, and that is really all the places I've been lately. I'm going to have some more for you, but that's where I'm at right now. That's real. <laughs> that's real. So uh, we appreciate y'all for listening um, and watching. Since we uh, we recording absolutely. now, absolutely. And um, if y'all want to, you know, chime in, let us know what you want to say. If you want to come through, uh, let us know. We got a spot for you. We got a mic for you. Um, and we gonna start having some some call ins, right? Yes, we will. We yeah. definitely will. So we gonna start having some call ins too, and having conversations with our all of our friends that aren't local. Uh, we still want to connect with y'all too, and let y'all get off what you need to get off. Let it go and let it grow. And uh, yeah, much love. So this is Mike. This is Alpha. And this is the art of letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Yeah. Peace. Yeah.